I want to explain briefly that uh, Rongo University last week declared redundancy, staff redundancies. The university council was forced to declare staff redundancy owing to inadequate funding. Our wage bill is way higher than what uh, we have coming from the government to pay. So the funds are not adequate. That is the first reason why we had have, we have to do redundancies. The second reason why we had also to do redundancies is because, uh, because of this acute funding, the university was forced to cut down on the number of departments and administrative positions. And we reduced schools, we reduced departments, we reduced ad administrative units, and this forced us to have excess staff who are not uh, being utilized because their positions have been scrapped off. And because of these two reasons, emanating from shortage of funding to the university, and that's why we ended up with a situation where we can no longer support the university payroll. And we had to cancel, had to uh, give authority to declare redundancy to, to sustain the university. And these challenges have come as a, as a consequence of inadequate funding coming from the government, the collapse of the original uh, privately sponsored student program that we were getting extra money to help us fund the university, and also the, the collective bargain agreements of 2017-2021, which increased university salaries, staff salaries, but did not have adequate funds to contain the overall agreed CBAs. For example, the universities were not given money to pay new salaries. New salaries that were agreed on, the government did not give us funds to continue paying the same level of salary from 2022. And that is the reason why we now found ourselves in a situation where we can no longer support the overall payroll. And even worse, as we were doing uh, the uh, declaring the redundancies, we have two categories of staff. The staff that were day release, they were, they were only recruited when there is a, a need for it. When, when there is need for it. And uh, staff who are regular staff, who are some of them are on permanent basis. But I want to explain that uh, the Public Service Commission, which is a government uh, organ, did indicate to Rongo University that we were overstaffed by 137 staff. And according to, to them, the university should look for ways in which they reduce the number of staff by regular staff by 137. And I need to explain that the reason why we had got that excess staff, what the uh, Public Service Commission is calling excess staff, is because when this university was started, we actually found staff here, over, way, way, way over 100, that were already working and were not supposed to be removed because the university came. And some of those staff were actually not meant for university, but we accommodated them, hoping that over the years the government will give us adequate funding so that they continue working. However, because of that, the wage bill has now come to a situation where we can no longer sustain everybody. And therefore, we had to declare redundancies for the reasons given. The university has got a regular staff of around 418. And uh, the university has declared staff redundancies for the regular staff of 64. So the staff numbers of the university will now remain 354 after declaring redundancies. And uh, by declaring redundancies, we have, will reduce the payroll by around 45 million. Yeah, that may not be able to bridge all the gap, but we are looking for other alternatives to come down so that uh, we contain the payroll. Otherwise, we require 756 to be able to meet our payroll requirement. Less 45, then you see roughly what we may remain with. Okay. <coughs>
are these people going just home without anything or yeah the council really appreciate the work which has been done by the team that is working here whether they were the regular staff or casual and therefore the council has put aside some funds to appreciate them and uh, we will use the government rules and regulations in terms of giving them some money to help them start businesses or at least to help them reorganize their lives and we will use uh, sub they will be paid severance allowance and also they will get all their benefits for those who are permanent and pensionable they will get their pension or they will get uh, uh, other benefits including uh, uh, medical no not medical <laughs> they will get let me just leave it as benefit. They will get their benefits which they have worked for over the years. It will depend on how long somebody has worked and the level of funds, I mean, uh, salary that they were getting. Yeah, the main reason for layoff is just simply because of the inadequate funds that we are now getting. The capitation that we get from the government and money that we get from additional sources is not, is not uh, adequate to be able to cover the payroll. And that is why we have to lay off so that the university does not collapse. We just want to ensure that the sustainability of this institution. And uh, there is staff reorganization. They, they, for those who are not affected, there is re internal reorganization to take care of the work which was being handled by the other staff who are affected.